Hello, uh, welcome back uh, to another lecture. Uh, in this lecture, we'd like to just create um, a sample line and a section view. Uh, before we start, uh, you need to have this file so we can follow along. If you don't have it, email me, I will send it to you. Or you can go on Blackboard and find it, and the uh, name is RTE 200 1. So, root 200 uh, 1A, that's what we call it. And if you take a look at this right here, let's look at the uh, assembly line that we created last time uh, let's show you what we have here this is a center line of your roadway this is a 12 foot lane and a right and 12 foot lane on a left and a right you have an eight foot shoulder and then you have a daylight for the slope and a left you have a six foot shoulder and you have a curb and gutter and then a sidewalk and then a one foot uh, grass panel and then a uh, uh, daylight out so uh, one of the thing you want to do here go to your home tab from a home tab click uh, sample line and then once you click sample line you see that square right there either click it or hit enter and then you have this new window open up you might have a hard time but uh, try to get this new window open up and here when we have one alignment so we're going to say okay from here we come up to this window and in this window basically once a number the name let's go with the default for now and uh, to make it easier and just accept all this default and click okay and now this window opens up there's a lot of good option here. What do you want to do? Come on to this option right here and click that. And there's a lot of option here also. How do you want your sample line? And we like to go range by range by station. At station mean you can go at the, the certain station you want, or from the corridor station, or pick point, or select the existing uh, poly line. So we go range by station. And then when you click that, a second window opens up, and you have to pull out information here. Uh, station range is okay and left swath and left uh, right swath what it means is mean how far from the center line you want to go out to the edge of the, that you want the cross section show uh, and no it says here it says 50 feet depending on your alignment and the existing alignment you might have to go 100 feet and i think sometimes 200 feet depending on how high your fill is so let's let's make this 100 for now and that's for the left and for the right make it also 100 and then we're going to come down see what we else we have sample increment every 50 feet that's fine and it says do you want one at the right yes we do i want one at the, at the beginning and the end so make this to a, a true at beginning and a true at the end and let's click ok then we're going to go in here we can see our sample line get rid of this come back here and there they are every uh, station and you can see from the center line you have uh, a sample line going out under feet on each side of the center and let's click one of these for uh, whoops that's not how I want it okay and you can see the diamond shape here if you grab this you can move them back and forth or uh, let me see if I can do one there you go you can move them wherever you want or put them back where it is lock. or you can grab them from this end and you can move them around to wherever you want to see your section view B okay so now let's uh, select one of these anyway again let's select station 20 and now since this is highlighted you can see it with the uh, uh, it's kind of light up like a diamond shape in the middle when you do this in your ribbon view the different view shows up so in this view go ahead look for a create section view and you click that and create section view and then once you open this the information already been filled out because you already picked the station so it picked all the station information put it in here it says station 20 that's what we're looking for and the uh, road section and let's go over to go through all these things we're going to accept the default for now click next and uh, your range is going to be from 100 feet left to 100 feet right so it's 200 feet long then you got your uh, elevation range right there and then you have uh, these and make sure these two are checked and keep on going and let's create section view once you do that uh, kind of zoom back out come on don't freeze on me there you go and find a spot that you like and click on that spot and your section view will show up We'll take a look and see how it looks. So you can see it look like this. 
Now, if we want to do every station, that was just for a single station. If you want to do every station, so then we have to go a different route a little bit. Home tab right here. Click Home tab. And from the Home tab, find a Create a Section View right here. And click that. And Create Multiple Section View. And then you have this window. And in this window, you can go with the default. You can do some changes. Uh, it says automatic from station 0 to 50. Yeah, let's take that. And road layer, that's fine. Road section, that's fine. Um, yeah. Click that one. And click next. And then here you have to choose your scale. Right here we have this three bar. Click on that. And you have a different option for your scale. You can, you can use, just go ahead with a 40 scale right there. And click OK. And you can go ahead and change in this basic. You can change basically your uh, your option of uh, where do you want your uh, plot area. It's going to be from the top or left. And you can arrange all that and based on your plot area. So uh, for now, we're going to accept the default. Click Next. And then the, again, we go through the same the range here. We went through here before. Automatic, it says the station is going to vary. That's fine with us. Click Next. Yeah. Click Next again. And let's create section view. But this time, be careful. you got to pick a spot that you have a lot of room left. So let's go down here. And you play it right here and wait for a few seconds. It should come up. There they are. And there's your section view. It shows up by a different station. And later on, we can, next week, we can put this in the output and put them in a sheet. Be well. Stay fit.